See that? Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got into this situation. But to tell you that, we have to go way back. Okay, my name is Kevin Foley, and uh, I was one of the two people who started this company back in 1982. What recycled materials do you use to make your toothbrushes? And this is made with not really a plastic, it's really, it's called cellulose, and it's the structural component of a tree. This organic material is melted and fed into a steel mold and dropped into a conveyor belt while the handles are boxed for the next step. What is your favorite part of your job? You get the opportunity to make things that people use daily and with our brushes they're made in the U.S. and they're one of a kind, nobody else makes them. The handles are dropped into the bowl copper. They are then slid into a slant conveyor that travels up dropping handles into a 12 belt cascade feeder. End of the feeder, the walking beam will travel down, reaching a whisper sensor, identifying holes up or holes down, ending in the inspection station, where the inspection station rotates holes up. The filling tool will insert fibers into each hole of the handle, exiting the machine and inspected upon completion. What is one thing you would say to someone looking into manufacturing as a career? It's a lot of hard work. I have a lot of passion for it. The packaging machine takes the decorative front guard, placing it down onto a tray. Station 2 places the plastic blister. The operator will place six handles of a certain brush into the packaging. At station nine, it ejects and goes out waiting shipment. What do you find most exciting about manufacturing? Very shortly afterwards, you put that into a 3D printer and you get to hold it in your hand. There it is. And it's, uh, it's, it's instant. Within a day, you've got exactly what you just designed and now, now made. Thanks, Radius.